Good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Man, there's so much going on uh, around us right now, and particularly in our nation. And uh, I want to encourage you today and ask you to join me as we trust the Lord for His will and for His purposes to be done in our nation at this time. Um, there's two things I want to ask you to do with me. And uh, to the one is a, a, an encouragement and the other, the second one, is to join me as we pray. Um, the first thing that we need to always remember in a time where things are, are like this, where there's so much going on and there's uncertainty and there's tensions and struggles and the, the pressures that we're going through um, in this lockdown level and the political things in our nation is, first of all, I want to encourage us to remember to never lose hope, but to always have hope, to stay steadfast in our hope. As the psalmist speaks to himself and, and, and reminds himself when he's facing some difficulty in Psalm 43 verse 5. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? And perhaps that's a question we can ask ourselves in a time like this. And, and, and we can answer it with many reasons and we can point possibly to many things. But the reason he's asking himself, while he also had good reasons to be in turmoil and to be downcast, he says, is, is why he's asking himself this is because... Hope in God, for I shall again praise Him, my salvation and my God. Our hope in God needs to be a steadfast hope that is not determined by the situations, the circumstances, but it is a hope that is real. And this hope is not an escapism. Our hope is not a hope that is, you know, oh, everything's just going to be okay. It's not a positivity. It's not, it's not optimism. It's a hope that is secure in who God is. As C.S. Lewis said, um, about believers that have hope. He said, if you read history, you will find that the Christians who did most for the present world were just those who thought most of the next. You see, hope for us is based in this, that, that the reality of the world that is to come, the kingdom of God, the, the rulership of Christ, the, the authority that is in the kingdom, that's where our hope is. And that hope is secure. It's, it's not something that may happen. It is something that is already established and that will be established in our world uh, and that's where our hope is drawn from so whatever the shifting and the movings if of our time we remain filled with hope and then the second thing i want to ask you is to pray with me and to pray with me that uh, there will not be a spirit of lawlessness that will take a hold of our nation at this time and um, as i've just been praying it's i've noticed that there's a there's in the political realm there's a fight around uh, the law and lawlessness at this time and people that that choose to not want to obey the law and say the law is wrong but there's even within the church right now there's a there's a struggle for us to to stay with the law uh, and there's a call within churches that we should disregard um, some of the the regulations that are in place now and my concern is that there's a lawlessness that wants to take hold of us and uh, I'm not saying every law and everything that the government passes is correct and is right. And, and certainly we have places where we engage with them. But we cannot do that in the spirit of lawlessness. We just says we're going to disregard what the government says because we don't agree with them. There, I think we, we, we're disregarding and disrespecting the authority that God has given them. According to Romans 13, which says, Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Our government's authority to make regulations has been instituted by God. We can challenge those through the, through the appropriate and reasonable channels um, and, and instruments that are given to us in our constitution and our democracy, but we cannot just stand up and decide we're going to be lawless. I'm concerned, and I want, to, I want us to pray that, that, that there will not be a lawlessness that will take hold of our nation. Um, in, in any sphere, in the church, in our political uh, realities right now, you know, um, that, but that there, that there would be a, 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 a recognition of authority, that there would be a respect, that there would be an honoring, um, that when authority needs to be challenged, it will be challenged and done appropriately and correctly, but that there will not be a spirit of lawlessness. Will you, will you pray that with me today and, and let us pray together just in this moment? Father, I thank you that we can stand together in Jesus' name. And I thank you that you are our hope, Lord Jesus. Our hope is secure in you. Our hope is not dependent on the shifting sands of this world and the, 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 the winds that blow. Our hope is, is secure because we hope in a king that rules 
forever and a kingdom that is unshakable. And we thank you. And I pray that for every person that's with me on this uh, this devotion today, that there would be a, a secure hope in their hearts, Lord, because of your reign and of your rulership and that nothing and no one can displace you as the ruler of the universe. Lord, you are our hope. And we thank you for that, Lord, in Jesus name. And then secondly, Father, we come before you and we pray for our nation. We pray, Lord, that they would, we, we want to stand in authority against any spirit of lawlessness that wants to come in in any way and, and bring destruction in our nation in Jesus' name. We pray, Father, for an establishing of, of a respect of the authority that you have given, Lord, both to government and in the church, Lord, and, and in every sphere, in family, in personal authority, every place where you have allocated authority, Father, that there would be a respect and an honoring of that authority. And I thank you for that, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep our nation uh, strong during this time. Restore to us a rule of of authority and of the law that is of, 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 of good law, Father. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you and be strengthened in him.